Hi, I'm making this video the day after the actual Mayan day because I was indisposed yesterday due to the fact that I was having a intervention at a dentist. So I had a bit of a, a chill out day yesterday afterwards and uh, had an extraction and um, at the time of my Mars in Libra. So it was the best possible circumstance and extraction given the current conditions which were very bizarre to say the least and all the pro protocols that I had to follow and that they had to follow and very interesting as to the actual date itself which was a key anniversary date for an abusive relationship in the past which I again hadn't realized at the time so in terms of the day yesterday was Tuesday the 2nd of June and the Sun in Gemini the moon in waxing Libra and at the time of my intervention it was at 28 28 degrees which again once you start really focusing on these codes and timings once you learn how to do this it is mind-blowing as to seeing our matrix code so first of all I'm going to say the day yesterday was here so red cosmic serpent which is very key code for my mum, the father of my children, my son, my auntie. Again, this is how you can use it to map your personal cosmology and start to see your bigger picture cycles. And so it was the 13th day of Red Skywalker 13 day process, creating heaven on earth. And you may feel going to the dentist to have a tooth extraction is not a heavenly process but actually again what I'm trying to put across in these videos and in my blogs is that forget about what you've been told what you've been conditioned to believe creating heaven on earth is about being an empowered individual who understands their patterns understands their codes understands especially their ancestral patterning so they can get clear of staying in that wounding pattern. And that's what it's about because we are here as an expression of the divine in human form to create human being evolution on a very personal level. So we will keep repeating patterns, events, also these were our family patterns and events and again once you start expanding this and looking at your family constellations and family coding then you will see how you personally get to shift that because as i said yesterday it was the best dentist experience that i've had and it was on the nhs because all the dentists are shut down at the moment in the uk and the reason for that is because I could have a very empowered conversation and everything was explained to me what was going to happen. And I was given informed consent before the procedure started, which again is key to the shift that we're making now. No manipulation, no coercion, no, oh, it's in the small print, so you should have read it, you know, no hidden agenda going on just this is what it could be do you want to do that take responsibility for your choices and then go ahead at the time of the appointment Libra 28 a single white swan swimming through grey mist different and the same distinguished by vertical composure yet intended to stay down under a special destiny task, a mission, an assignment. 
sought to blend in and become each world passed through, yet remaining incorrigibly other. Excellence at taking up required roles and ways of life and finding the best in them. You have a remarkable social gift for making the world a better place. Endowed with higher characteristics and heavenly nature, you are sublime, yet shrugging self off, no big deal. The wonders of anonymity. So many changes to move through, rippling waves of time. Standing far above dispassionately, I shall do what is rightful. The singular voice of the highest ethic, pure and essentialized. And that's it, you know, doing what is rightful. And we all know what that is deep down. We all know it's wired into a human being to know when something is right and something is not right from a very early age. It's just how we're wired. As we grow older, it's whether we do that. And Red Serpent is the fifth Mayan sign. And so it is the overtone. It is the mastery space of the first four steps. So relationship comes in into awakening, into awareness, as all red signs are. And so over the past 12 days previously, what were we awakened to around creating heaven on earth? Where was our Kundalini flowing? Clearly wasn't flowing in my tooth. My tooth was dead. My tooth was number 18. You can look up an interactive tooth chart. I will put a link to that underneath. And you can then see what the meridians are that you're working with for each tooth where you've got issues in your mouth. I've always had lots of issues with my teeth since being a small child. And again, it's looking at the family pattern around that as well as holistically working with eating food that doesn't hurt your teeth, of course, something that I am still not 100% with. I'm still eating too much sugar and sugary foods and yeah, trying to shift my blood sugar through eating the wrong stuff. So in terms of the card that I got yesterday was the star, the water bearer, Aquarius, which I often get. I've got rising in Aquarius and I've got Lilith in Aquarius. And of course we're in Saturn Aquarius going retrograde at the moment, going over old ground around community, so groups what's going on in the world, whether it's fair for everybody. And yesterday we didn't have any rain um, in the UK. We'd run out of water for the garden in all of the, the water butts. So we were using the water from the shower. So we we're literally being the water bearers, carrying it down from the bath upstairs into the garden. So again, um, Eli Tarot Strikingly.com, great explanation there, and I'll put a link. So the elements of the universe, seven-pointed star that represents Venus, and today, which is actually the 3rd of June today, we've got a new Venus cycle starting. So very, very key. And so um, knew it is the key goddess and the dark starry sky and so much again in this card so i'll let you read that for yourself I'm just scrolling down to the bottom so I can give you the, the overview. The querent shall be or will be experiencing hope, faith and unexpected help for 17 weeks or 17 months. Self-esteem and confidence contributing to self-efficiency efficiency and talent. The querent upon meditating shall hear their own song, sound frequency, becoming harmony and then emoting love, calm and peaceful agility. An expanded and liberated personality change is in the works. Hope, faith and expected spiritual help combine. 
there is a principle of self-esteem and confidence here, maybe even recognition of self-sufficiency and talent from others. So an upsurging courage to be themselves and assisting others in their self-esteem. And this is very much the work that I do on a personal level and with the people that I work with is expanding emotional healing. And I was able to actually share this yesterday as well, talking about emotional freedom technique, chatting away with a dentist. So something I'm passionate about, if you haven't checked it out yet, please do check it out. This is the key to everything, emotional healing, healing the heart, learning how our energy flows in our body. This is the light body, being the human being who is creating heaven on earth for themselves and through their own personal journey and learning and then sharing that with others. And that's the key focus, themselves, ourselves, I, me, doing it first because when I change and heal, my perception of times in the past when I haven't had good self-esteem, when I haven't felt empowered. Now really looking deeply into those, what happened to create that situation, healing it with emotional freedom technique, then changing my behavior. That's so important. And as I do so, the world changes for me. So if you'd like to know more about any of those structures, please do get in touch. My website is flowwithjoe.com.